later. But anyway, okay, so this one is going, we're going to go over the, the build guide, which is basically a business overview for someone. And um, so I was going to screen share, let's see. Oh, wait, am I hitting the right thing? Okay, there we go. Can you see the PDF I've pulled up of the build guide? Um, yes. Okay. All right, and if you have one, yeah, if you want to pull it out, because it's hard, kind of hard to see this sometimes, because I have it, uh, anyway, going in, descending order instead of like a book, like you would open up, so it's not hard sometimes. But anyway, okay, so this is cool. So this is what you would give to somebody who says, yeah, I'm interested in doing the business or I want to learn more about the business part about doTERRA or I want to do it, right? Probably not right. learning more, but doing the business part. Okay, so when you first open it up, oh, just a minute, I've got to move this so I can scroll down. Okay. Second point, I love this, this first page, okay. Talks about the buckets and pipeline which is like such a, this is like the best story to kind of get people in that mindset idea of having a residual income. And, oh, so I should back up here. So I, um, I just took a little course not too long ago from um, Natalie and Burke Rigby, who are presidential diamonds, and they just kind of did some basic stuff. So it was just a good little refresher for me. Anyway, so they, this, so I'm basing this off of, they just gave a little like, hey, here's how we do it. Here's how we go through the build guide. So I'm always trying to learn from different people to, just to pick up different things, right? So anyway, so this story is so nice about buckets and pipelines, right? Because it teaches that, like I said, the mentality of like building the pipeline to, for the residual income, which, you know. Not everybody thinks about, but are you familiar with that story? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I love it. And, showed, it, and I showed the YouTube video once. Yes, and I was going to say, I think the YouTube, the little YouTube video, is even better than reading about it. So if you were ever doing this and you could like pull up the YouTube video on your on your phone or something or computer, if you're doing a Zoom with them or whatever, I think that would be even better because it. Um, it gets more into the emotion a little bit better, I think. So anyway, so after you tell that story, then to ask them, it doesn't really have um, this question there, but I love this because they asked, um, what would happen if you or your husband could no, couldn't work for a time? Like what would happen to you financially? You know, people are usually like, oh, I'd lose my house or, like, you know, I don't know, whatever, go into debt, go bankrupt, whatever it is. And so, and then you can say, and wouldn't it be awesome to have, you know, a residual income so that if you did have to miss work for a few weeks or a few months, that you would still have income coming in that you could sustain on or that would sustain you. So anyway. So that's a good question to go with that, with that one that I wish was on this, but it's not, it's not on there. Anyway, okay, so, oh, they do have more holly, or buckets and pipeline part there. But anyway, so then they talk about, okay, why partnering with doTERRA? You don't need to read through all of this, but just hit on a few points, and maybe a few points that really um, ring true for you. So, you know, talking about doTERRA has, oh, here's Rakaya. Can she hear us yet? Oh, yay, you can hear us. How are you? Hi. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Awesome. Good. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, that's fine. No okay. big deal. You didn't miss much. We just went, we just started. Okay. Uh, hey, Misty. Hi. With the build guide. And then um, we just talked about the buckets and pipelines at the beginning. 
Perfect. And I just said the one question to really is a good question to ask with this one is um, to ask what would happen to your family if you or your husband couldn't work for a time. Okay. How would that, do you want to get to that pain point, right? Right. And we also talked about maybe even showing the YouTube here because the video is so much more powerful than just reading the story, I think. True. Yep. So good. Anyway, and then we just got to this page, Why Partner with doTERRA? And I was just saying to pick out a few things that really um, speak to you. So for one big thing, one big thing for most people, especially people who have experience with network marketing, the retention rate is huge because most people in network marketing, most companies do not have near that retention rate. So, um, and I love to tell people that like here, like, 85% of the people who have a doTERRA membership are strictly or exclusively customers. They have nothing to do with the business opportunity, right? They're all about the product. They love the product. So that's important because in most <coughs> other network marketing companies, people seem to be so excited about the opportunity, right? They're not excited about the product. The product is kind of a, um, like a, I don't know what do you want to call it like a sub conversation or something right it's all about the opportunity and then oh yeah and then there's this is the product we have to sell to make this work so anyway so whatever it is here that that speaks the most to you is something to hit on but um one and the growth rate is really cool too like how fast doTERRA has grown like if you look at um its growth curve it's like right here, they have here that it's um, it's very comparable to Apple. It's also comparable to Facebook. Like those are huge growing companies that people are pretty familiar with. They would be like, wow. Um, like out here in the East Coast, there's Dunkin' Donuts everywhere. So I like to tell people that Do doTERRA is bigger than Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, for real. <laughs> True. So that's kind of funny. Um, just whatever it is. And sometimes it depends on who you're talking to, right? About what you know is going to resonate with them. Like if, if somebody has done network marketing before, then it would be more important to kind of go over the, the retention rate. Um, and if they're not, or if they're more about like changing the world, then for sure, you know, go into the, the healing hand stuff. And there was one cool thing that I had just, I had just learned too um, when I was preparing for this is that, um, and it's not here, but um, doTERRA is the only um, company recognized by the United Nations for, its, um, for the work that they do in impoverished nations. Isn't that cool? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. I just, yeah, it was on a training that I did with Natalie Rigby and she shared that fact and I was like, wow. That's amazing. Is yeah. that published on the website? I don't know where she got it from and I didn't have a chance to look it up. I was watching, um, I just did a training with them and I was, I'd already done it, but anyway, I was reviewing it and watching it again before I did this one tonight because I wanted to have it all fresh in my head. Um, but yeah, so maybe we'll have to Google that and see if we can find uh, the documentation for that. I'll take a note. So they're recognized, the UN recognizes them for what? For it, she had, for the work they're doing in impoverished nations is what she had said. That's huge. Yeah. So I just wrote a note for me to find this, find a source on that. Yeah. Um, Okay. So yeah. So cool stuff. So yeah. And whatever it is that you can find, like whatever is going to speak to your people, right. That, um, that you're the people that you're working with. So, um, okay. So yeah, like I said, don't worry about going over everything over everything or even everything or even something from each of those three sections. Just hit on a few things, like maybe two things that you think is going to resonate with the person you're meeting with. Cool. Um, okay, so then next, there's this page, which is hard to see on the computer this way because it's really it's a twofold thing, right? That goes like this. Yeah. It opens up. Okay. So on this page, the idea 
is to really, this is the way the rugby's do it anyway, and I thought this was so interesting because I've never done it this way, but they said they just ask them, ask the person they're doing the business interview, where, which of these spots would you like to be at? Like, where would you, where do you see yourself being? And that part I have always asked. I do like that because then you can really get a feel for somebody of, mm -hmm. me, okay, okay, they just want to be like elite. They just want to get their products paid for or, okay, they want to be at least silver, sweet, you know, that they're, they're thinking more abundantly, um, you know, or blue diamond, whatever. We had one person tell us that one. Anyway, so it just helps you know where to place somebody and it kind of lets you know like what their thinking is. So with that though, then, then the Rigby's, they say, then they don't go into any of this. They don't go into explain how you get your money. They just leave it at that. They skip the rest of this page and go over it another time. Like the compensation plan, because it's too much. And if you think about it, the compensation plan is quite complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. So and it totally is something that you could just go over for an hour with somebody another time. Because people always have tons of questions with it. So I think that that's really good advice. So they just say they skip over the rest of it. You want to keep them engaged when they're excited. Like you've got them learning about residual income. You've got them learning about why doTERRA. Having them, now you're getting them to start to dream and like think abundantly and think big um, of what they could possibly achieve. So don't get them kind of distracted with the how it happens, like, or with the compensation plan, right? Because it's kind of not necessary at this point. So I'm excited to try this, that part next time because I've always dove into this a little bit. And you can see people just get confused and they're like, I'm like, sorry, like, I feel like I have to explain it to you because it's in this build guide. Yeah. <laughs> right? and I suppose, um, if they're excited and if they have people lined up, then they'll, they'll probably be okay with skipping over it. But you might find that some people really want to delve right into that, right? Some like, people would, yeah. And so, because like me, my personality, I have a really hard time with the dreaming part. And I really want to get into the mechanics of, and the numbers. Yeah. That's my personality. So that's why I always go over this part, right? Because it's something that I love and I, I really want to like understand it all. But um, so maybe you'd have to kind of base people off that or if they say, oh, well, wait, I really want to understand this part. Say, you know what? That is awesome. Let's like set aside a time to go over how the compensation plan works our next meeting or whatever. Okay. So you definitely could do that because they could try looking. I mean, in reality, whoever it is you're meeting with is going to go and look through this pamphlet after you leave right? If they're excited and wanting to learn more. Um, and they could probably figure out a smaller part of it by just yeah. reading it. But um, yeah, I think it's probably good to set up another meeting for that because then you're going to start, if they're going to be diving into the business, you're going to want to be connecting with them at least once a week anyway, to do some type of training. That's and true. the compensation plan could be one of those trainings. So yeah. I think that that would work. Anyway, like I said, I've never done it that way. And, uh, but I think it's really good advice. Okay, so then this part, this is where you're getting people kind of just starting to, to think big and, and asking them some of these questions like, um, let's see, sorry. I wanna check my notes here and make sure I'm getting everything. Oh, so these were the questions they said. So how valuable would it be to you? Like dot, dot, dot you know, to, so you could plug in any of these, like how valuable would it be to you to be debt free or, um, how, what benefits could you see from, you know, having the, the time freedom piece available to you? So just asking them questions to get them thinking about it, mm -hmm. like which ones of these would be most impactful to you. And they could go and check them off or whatever if they wanted to, but you're just getting them to be thinking, right? So yep. next, their suggestion on here, oh, whoops, okay, sorry, I missed this page. Okay, I was thinking there was a next page coming next. It's a different page. Okay, so this is telling them, okay, so depending upon what they circled before with where they want to be, 
say, okay, well, you circled, you know, elite. So you want to get your product paid for. So to make that happen, the suggested guideline would be to work or to invest three to five hours a week and to personally enroll like one or two people a month, right? That's what the suggested guideline is for that to happen for you to hit elite within two to three months. Um, so, and you could obviously walk through either one of these with wherever, whichever one that they circled, right? Um, and keep in mind, obviously they can go slower than this, and enroll less than those people or enroll less and, and launch builders less, but it will just take longer, which is totally fine. Like everybody's on their own journey and things don't always happen as we plan, but this is based off of right. Getting your customers on LRP too. So that just gives a, a brief guideline or suggestion there. Okay. So then they suggest, skipping this part for a minute and coming back to it towards the end where they talk about the pipes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll do that too. So we're going to skip the pipes for a minute. So then they talk about um, these things. So this is towards the end. I think this is the next to the last page where it has the live share build on there. And they, Natalie says she doesn't leave her. She doesn't, she makes sure when she's ending, she's like, okay, so are you excited to get going? When should we schedule your first class for? And so right then and there, schedules their first class. I think that's brilliant. I've never done that. Why? I don't know. And yeah. so, because then otherwise you're kind of like hanging, okay, so just let me know when you're ready to host your first class, yeah. you know? Okay. Like, okay, let's just do it right now. Let's schedule your first class right now. Um, and then if they want to do a launch, um, to schedule their launch for them and go, okay, when are we going to be, when are we going to be launching your business? So in Rakaya, I don't know if you just saw, probably not yet, the recording for the call from last night. For the no, I haven't. Okay. I posted it this afternoon, I think. <coughs> um, but anyway, but the point, is, and you don't need to watch it. I'm going to fill you in on the biggest, the biggest takeaway from it, but it was, um, Cherie talked about, a mini, a mini launch that um, she learned about. It's like a presidential retreat, presidential diamond retreat or something. And um, basically what that was is people are doing like, say a four day weekend or three day weekend. So like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday or whatever. And they're kind of, and they're holding those classes there for those you know, three to four events within those three to four days or whatever it is you're going to do, and then meet up with those people one-on-one -on -one who can't come. But the idea is you just pick like one weekend and do it. So either you're traveling to an area to go do that with one of your team members or, um, or doing it at your own home or whatever. But um, somebody suggested doing that like once a month. And I think that's brilliant because then you're not, Emily suggested this, in our call and she suggested because then you know when you have all your classes spread out throughout the month it's kind of hard to have the as much energy and excitement to invite somebody to something that's mm -hmm. so spread out but it seems to be easier if it's chunked together yeah so whatever works whatever works for you it's a it's an interesting concept that's for sure and i think based off of personalities and whatever works for you the best right yeah and i guess it puts the good kind of pressure on you to sort of like keep that routine and momentum going right yeah and honestly, I think it would be easier than doing like a class once a week. I think it would be yeah. easier to do three or four classes on one weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then just keeping them um, like, like I said, even if you were like, say you go to your cousin's house, you know, two towns over or whatever and have them all there that weekend or whatever. I don't know. That's so just a good focusing one. on that effort on, in that area. Sorry. So anyway, so that's an idea. But some people are like a full-on launch, like a six-week launch is, is too much for them. It can be overwhelming. I mean, it's, um, it's, it just depends. But it's not, I mean, a launch is not like something you could just do once and then be done with it, right? It's something we need to like keep doing to kind of like jumpstart things for us. But yeah, which is why I like the idea of the shorter, like the weekend thing. 
Um, Cause then you could do that once a month, right? It doesn't seem as overwhelming. Yeah, that's true. So, and yeah, you could definitely give them the, the share guide here. Like if you haven't already, and because you're booking their first class with them and then you could kind of give them that and you could go over that briefly with, well, I would probably do that another time though. So you don't want to make this like too long. You don't want to get them into overwhelm. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, but setting the dates with them is important. Okay. So then after this, so at the end, there is the hundreds names list, right? Or not the hundreds names list, but a names list. I think how many names does it go to? 30. That's not very many. But, okay, so then after that page, they go back to the pipes page. And they say, so here is like, and I love to describe this to people, the pipes is basically like the cake recipe for how to do doTERRA, right? Yeah. You can make the cake whatever flavor, you can frost it however you want, decorate it whatever you want it to be. But this is like the basic recipe of how to make it work. So the prepare, invite, present, and roll support. And letting people know that um, this is how it is. Like these are the, these are those activities, but that the, um, income producing activities and the ones where you really want to focus on are inviting present, presenting and enrolling. Those are the ones that are going to be building your business and, and bringing your income up. So anyway, so on those three parts cool. and then you can go over more of it later, right? When you do a, a, another training with them. Yeah. And um, because, yeah, because then I would go over, I mean, this is great for them to jot down some names of people that they think. I think that's great. But I'm all about that names list that's, that we have with, oh, them, totally. with ranking them. I think it's so much better. Yeah. And then I love that. Um, I love that memory jogger that I recently found, too, that I put in the that bio section. Yeah, that thing was amazing. I couldn't believe how good it was. So um, I wouldn't focus on this names list too much, but I think it would be good for them to maybe start about yeah. who they would want to invite to their first class or something. But anyway. uh, I have a question about yeah. supporting downlines now. Okay, so you know that I enrolled my cousin, but she's in Houston. I'm in Ottawa. So how am I going to support her with doing her first class? Like, have you ever... Oh, a downline and kind of like hook them up with somebody like another doTERRA team member that you know of in that city to give that physical support. Like, how do you do that? Yeah, let's see. So you could, it's, that's kind of tricky. Did you have something you want to say, Misty? Do you have a great idea? I don't know if it's a great idea. <laughs> sure. But that's how I am. I have no upline doing any anything for me locally okay so I got the class in the box and I basically I put in that DVD and let it play and um, I've done that a couple times and then other times I'm just I just um, do the living or the I can't remember it's another pamphlet I have okay. I just do that with them it's basically one-on-ones but in a bigger setting so the um okay. let's see i'll stop this chair so do you do the um the nat this one right here natural solutions yeah um, so i go through that yeah um and that's yeah so the in the for the top 10 oils that's what i kind of use the dvd for but then yeah i just use this um okay. that's great the, the the this this is the support I get. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course. Um, no, that's great. Cause if you plug them into another doTERRA person, it would have to be somebody that you're really new and trusted. Right. Yeah. Cause ugh, that can just get so messy. It can get messy. And although like, I know the company doesn't like, um, like the Cross whole recruiting thing and, and whatever. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't work in principle. Right. At all. I could, I imagine. Right. Um, I just, it's, she's so excited and like, I want to ensure that she's supported and I'm going to do the best that I can to support her. But I know with things like classes might be a bit daunting. Like I feel daunted by it, but I've got Catherine here. You know what I mean? Right. right. So another idea is to do it on zoom. Yeah. Right? So to be there, I mean, 
they could even all be together that's true. physically and put you on on zoom with Catherine or even or whatever right um or you guys could she could just do her first few classes on zoom say hey guys this is like a super fun class you're going to do it at home from your pajamas here's the link that you have to you know the app to download and put it on your phone and we're going to do this with my super cool cousin who lives in ottawa like how fun is this you know okay cool um, I think that would be a great way to do it because then you're still modeling it for her. She yeah. could get samples to people beforehand. Yeah. Um, and yet, you know, she's still having that support. Yeah. Okay, cool. We can do so much through technology, really. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I just love that when you're at a class, like you get to smell and feel the oils. Like that's the right fun of it. But you're right. If you sample beforehand, then you can still. And she could, like, she could just give them all just a little sample, like a few drops of each of a few oils. Like, say she gives them lavender, lemon, and peppermint, like two drops yeah. of each or something yeah, like true. that. Or better yet, they are all together. And so that they can all pass around and smell the oils that she has. I'm going I'm to write that down so I don't remember it yet. And you could even just help her with like a one-on-one -on -one or something too on Zoom. Yeah. At first. But I, I do agree. There is, it is different to all be together and to be smelling the oils and to be putting them on. Like that is, that is a huge part of the experience. Yeah, that's it. And it's even nice to have a few people there who are already enrolled who can be like, yep. Oh yeah. He's loud sleep all the time. And I love peppermint for headaches or whatever. Like those people are the best. <coughs> totally. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so I think that finding some way that you could be involved with them, like yeah. through technology would be great. And Zoom would probably be the best then in that sense. Yeah. For now. And, then and you guys are always welcome to use our Zoom account, right? Like, just just let me know. Be like, hey, can we set this up? And yeah, yeah because um, I just make sure I, I book it out or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's using Zoom, so I know. And then, awesome. yeah. yeah, and then we're good. We got to milk that $15 a month out, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. Too funny. But anyway. Okay, so what other questions you guys got? That was my main one. Um, I'm just gonna go through my live guide where I have loads of notes. Sounds good. Misty, have you done your wellness consult with your enrollment yet? No, I was had it scheduled and she bailed on me. Ugh. Um, um, so not really. I kind of went over a little bit of it with with the one on one because she was pretty excited. Good. And, um. Just reschedule with her. Just just yeah. keep on it. Like see if you can reschedule with her. Cause just be like, I want to make sure you know how to order. You get the most out of your. You know you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. Nice. Get the most out of everything. Make it all about her. Did she get her diffuser thing figured out? I don't know. She, she, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. She told me she's like, I can't deal with it right now. I'm watching my baby. Oh. And then, and then her husband had surgery today. So she's got a lot going on. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes. Shoot. Hey. Um, did you have one, Rakaya? Did you find one? If anything, no, but I bet you all think of it after. I have oh. so <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I don't remember what it was. Okay. Um, the other question I had about that same gal is that she said she wasn't, she just wanted to be a customer when mm -hmm. I was talking with her. And then she signed up as a wellness advocate. I saw that. So I, it's what I was like when I wanted, when I, went to go do the the over thing can't even think of the word well, I was going to talk to her about that and so I was like I don't know if she knew what she signed up for because she's not on LRP yeah so she's a wellness advocate so that's funny because it defaults to wholesale customer right 
which is important. To, so that's another reason why it's important to do the, the lifestyle overview or the wellness consult with her because, because then you want to get to that live, share, and build part with her, right? To right. go, hey, I just want to make sure, like, I love how Catherine phrases it, right? Where she says, I want to make sure that I know where you're at so I can best support you. Yeah. Right? Are you, are you just a customer? Are you wanting to share a little bit, get your oils paid for, or do this as a business? And maybe let her know. Say, hey, because the account you signed up for is one that can earn income. Mom. Maybe she checked that box on purpose. Right. She very well could have because it defaults to wholesale customer. Yeah, that's right. It does. Exactly. And so it's that's a pretty cool. To fill out as a wellness advocate. Yeah, that's really miss cool. Oh, sorry. Kaya, would you repeat what you said? Oh, I said that it's a bit of an effort to fill out all the info for a wellness advocate. Oh, really? <laughs> well, she's got to check an extra box and then she's got to put in her social. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so. she didn't ask me any questions about it because when I left her, she's like, well, I'm going to talk to my husband and think about it. And she's like, we might order something. <laughs> but she was really, she was excited about everything, but she wasn't sure about spending the money, I don't think. And then, and she kind of went all out. So I don't know. That's awesome. <laughs> That's Her awesome. husband probably like, yes, do it. Yeah. So yeah, definitely get that wellness consult in so that you can figure out where she's at, right? Um, but there's no time frame on. I mean, because there's nowhere else. You don't have to worry about placing her, right? She's just going to stay on your front line, so it doesn't matter. Like, if you was, if you had a bigger team, it'd be like, oh, we got to hurry and get it in before the two weeks, so you know where to place her. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter, especially where she's got baby and surgery and everything else she's dealing with. Yeah. But maybe you could shoot her a, a text and just say, how's your husband recovering? Like, and then if she mentions anything like, oh, he's so nauseous from his medication, you can be like, get that peppermint, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's awesome. Very, very good. Mm, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to stop recording. You guys tell me, though, if you